one of our viewers. She claims she's the absolute worst hostess in the world and that she desperately needed some help. Now, she might have been talking about cooking or food help, but we decided to help her out on a larger scale. We sent in our buddy, Nate Burgess, to surprise her. And boy, do I mean surprise her. Watch. These are my fancy tables that I get to use when we have company over or game night. I love having friends and family over, but I'm definitely not known as the hostess with the mostess. Paper plates, plastic utensils, styrofoam cups, and if we're having beer, it's bottles, cans, wine. These work very well too. I think one of the main issues is the space in my house. I don't have a dining room where people can sit down together and enjoy each other's company. We put the food out on the kitchen table. You take your food, and wherever you find a space, you find it. It's inside, outside, the stairs. Standing in the kitchen in the way of everyone else, probably really not the best setup for me. My sisters and my friends are awesome hosts, and I'm trying to live up to their standards. I'm thinking about Mother's Day, and you guys are coming, right? Yes, we are. I'm hosting Mother's Day this year, and I finally want to host a proper dinner party. Kristen has no idea that I'm standing outside of her house right now, about to give her a crash course in party decorating. Hi! Hi. Oh my How God! Are you? Come here! Hi! I was like, are you all familiar? <laughs> so, question for you. Okay. I hear that you're like not the hostess with the most. Not really. We're gonna change that today. Holy crap! Here's what I heard. No one gets to sit at the table when you entertain. No, that's ever. where all the food goes. Oh, so the food gets set there. Yeah, the food gets a seat, but nobody else does. <laughs> what I'd like to do is maybe move a couple of things around so that we can set up the table in the living room. Okay. Just for a party. There's tons of really easy things to keep in mind when you're decorating for a party. You don't have to have your table in your kitchen, and if you don't have a dining room, you can make space in any room, especially if it's just for a party. So here at Kristen's house, we're using the foyer. You good with this? I'm good with that. This, part of my new fabric collection, I had this made for you. You don't have to shop in the tablecloth aisle for tablecloths. Go to a fabric store, take the measurements of your table, they'll tell you how much yardage you need, and take it right to a dry cleaner, they'll seam it, and you've got custom linen. Awesome. This is happening. And it's not plastic. We're gonna give everybody coming to your house to celebrate Mother's Day these little salt cellars, which really haven't been done in the last 200 years, Great. to be honest. But how nice is that? If you don't have a lot and you don't collect china because that's not your thing, I get it. I use my plates from my new collection for Target. Keep it simple, white classic dishware and clear glassware. Should we use your wine glasses? We can. When it comes to the tabletop, start with stuff you already have. Mix it in, make it your own. I like the idea of bringing nature to a table. One, it's pretty, and two, it doesn't have to be expensive. So, flowers from the grocery store. Cut them short and in matching vases, just like we did here. Looks absolutely beautiful. So we'll use different chairs at the head. Guys, for the thousandth time, your chairs don't have to match. Did you hear that? Your chairs don't have to match. Our work is almost done, but I feel like we need to test this out. Okay. On your sister. Hello? Suzanne? Yes? Hey, it's Nate Burkus. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm standing in Kristen's kitchen. We've done a little bit of work on the house, um, just for entertaining. We were wondering if you wanted to come over and check it out. Absolutely. Awesome. All right, come by. We're waiting. Hi. Hi. Kristen's so great, she works so hard, she deserves to have a beautiful space to entertain. Kristen's house looks fabulous. A little competition in hosting now. I think this was a success, don't you guys agree? Absolutely! Absolutely.